Hello everybody, my name is Audrey Helen Rose Matsunura and um, I'll be answering some questions today. Hello guys, my name is Abel, known as the POG. So I'm gonna answer some questions about Dr. Aniobi. Hmm, not easy. Alright, okay, let's go. Hello guys, how are you all doing? My name is Obina, aka the Godback Guy, and um, I'll be answering some questions today about Dr. Ani. Okay, the first question goes is, who is Dr. Ani to you? Well, Dr. Ani is a person who plays several roles in my life. So I can say he's my father, he's my pastor, he's my mentor, he's also a friend. Mm, yes. He's my father. He's not only my father, but he's also a pathfinder for me. Dr. Ai, first of all, Dr. Ai is my pastor in Allied House Church, Down City Gate Church, with Kusha. And also, Dr. Ai is someone that is um, I, I really look up to. He's someone that I see to be a very, very inspiring personality. So he's someone I really, really, really um, admire so much and someone that I look up to. Can you describe Dr. Ani in one word, unpredictable. He's really unpredictable. He's a man. He's a man of the spirit. You don't know what he's gonna come up with the next move. So he's a man of the spirit. I would say remarkable. And why would I say that? Um, there's something I admire so much about Dr. Ani, and that's the fact that. He came to a place where most people would consider to be sterile, a place where most people would think that nothing is happening there. But he came there and was able to do something extraordinary and something that makes more, more people today see the possibilities and the potential in this nation. So that's why I say I would describe him as remarkable. He's someone who is reserved, calm, although I said two words there. And how did you get to know about Dr. Ayn? That's a very interesting story I'd like to go into. When I came to this island, I, I told myself that I'm just going to look for one quiet church and stay. So um, I was attending one other church. Then someday someone came to meet me and told me about a lighthouse. So the first question I asked was, how is the church? He said, the pastor is a prophet. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not interested in all this prophet, prophet stuff. So I made up my mind not to go. So. The next Sunday, I was supposed to go to my usual church, but someone ex invited me to another church. So I didn't know the time, and I decided to go to that church, only for me to find out later that the time was wrong. And I didn't want to stay that day without going to church. So I decided, okay, maybe I should go and try out this church. And, well, the rest is history. When I first came to the island, I was planning not to go to church at all, because back home when we were going to church, it was because daddy said, um, I'm locking my house, so everybody should leave the house. And so when I came here, I was like, definitely I won't be going to church. Then one day, my sister actually dressed up to go to church, and someone invited her. I was like, okay, I'll escort you to church. And then this one friend of hers was like, um, I'm also inviting you. You should also come. I was like, oh, well, but anyways, I ended up going, and the first message, they, it really touched my heart. And that's when I got to know Dr. Anyobi as a pastor, and that's when I started to um, really listen to what he had to say. I encountered Dr. Anyobi before I met him. So, when I gave my life to Christ, I was out of my country. I didn't have a church, I didn't have a spiritual father. I was praying for that, and I had a dream where I encountered him. I didn't know who, who he was, neither where am I gonna meet him, but that's how I encountered him before I met him. What have you learned from him? Hmm, I love this question. The first thing I learned was that the best weight to take off from your life is the weight of other people's opinions. Because I used to be a person who used to really depend on people's opinions. For an example, if someone doesn't like what the other aspect of me, I wouldn't really show it and I wouldn't be free to do anything that people are opposing to. So he told me that I shouldn't let opinions weigh on my life. For an example, these days is um, 
saying yes this saying who told you like i'm supposed to be in line with the will of god and as long as i'm going off it means i'm fellowshipping with something and that something is telling me something and that something is who told you i will say i am the result of what i've learned from him i am what i've learned from him but one of the things i that's really really impacted my life from him is this quote of his that says the process is as important as the result so it always push you to understand that okay the result is there but there is a process to reach the uh, the result and also your identity and your right standing with God. There's a very important quote he likes to say. He says you can't judge a man's seed until you have seen his you can't judge a man's harvest until you have seen his seed soon. And that's something that I really, really hold dear to my heart because a lot of times you see a lot of people let let me even use him for example. We see him today, he's doing so well, he's He's, he's presentable, he's amazing, but if you look at his pictures of the past, if you look at how far he has come, a lot of things he has done, you realize that this is someone that has been through a lot. But if you just look at him right now, you might get carried away and not know that he has been through a lot. So what I've learned from him is that before you judge, before you, you jump into conclusion, before you wish to have someone's life, before you admire someone, find out what they have been doing, where they have come from, what disease they've sown, before you ask God to bless you with their life. Because maybe if you find out that, man, this journey is not the journey I can run with you. You have to change your mind. What would you like to say to Dr. Anyori? There's much I would really like to tell him, but if I need to sum everything, it's just thank you. Thank you for accepting the call of God upon your life. Thank you for building people like us today. Thank you for giving us a sense of purpose. Thank you for standing in the gap for us. Thank you so much, Daddy. I love you. Most importantly, I would like to say thank you very much for grooming me into the person I am now. In as much as I thought I was disciplined, you showed me the way, an upper way, an upper level of discipline and maturity, wisdom, and how character is, how to define what character is. I would like to say a very big thank you for answering the call because sometimes I look at the church, I look at all the young lives, I look at everybody, I look at even the people I'm working with now, the, the people that have impacted me, there's no way I would have met them, there's no way I would have known them, if not because of Dr. Anya, and if not for the fact that he answered his call and decided to be a father to all. So I would like to say a very big thank you to Dr. Anya.